Hello once again, my fellow Frost and Brothers. This is Deadman9001, the voice of the Crush Warrior Channel. On this episode, we will be doing the Forgotten Kingdom of Ran. Made by Rookie N and Lilliput123. These guys are of the Rookie N Put uh, channel, and I will post them in the description below. Okay, so there are some rules. Rules. Don't break blocks except play. Collect fern for scores. Have difficulty on normal or higher. Follow the redstone torches. Don't cheat. Sleep in this house. Well, anything like this house. For checkpoints. This is made for one to two people. So if you have more than th two, then you can spawn in some beds. That's about it. And if you really want to make a video, uh, just do it. Post it on the forums. They are currently on the... Yogscast forums. I don't know if they're on any other forums, but anyway. And please include the link to the video. Alright, as you can see, I have the render distance at tiny just because it just gives me better quality on videos. So, anyway, I'm going to take this raw fish and the initial fern. Could take some fishing rods, but. I don't feel like it. <laughs> and the wooden hoe, maybe not the paper either. Read note one. Alright, we're gonna get some notes going on. December 21st, 1942. Your character is Frank. It was so cold. The winter here is not like home, and same with the night. I thought I heard creatures everywhere, and I thought I saw the Yeti once. My friend Mike thought that I was insane, but then one night he heard we heard a big explosion and ran out of the tent. We saw the smoke from the explosion. We heard. I knew right away it was a military airplane. So we went to see if there were any survivors. We were desperate in need for some food, so we prepared to fight for it. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just going to follow these because I can't see the redstone torches. And obviously, something like this, well, probably would need to follow. So the fire is a good effect. Help if you're using a lower frequency to film or edit. And when they do say collect ferns, that doesn't mean run around the forest knocking down all the ferns from the jungle biome. So you know. They mean from all the chests, like in here. So we have a sword now. Read note 2. Me and Mike finally arrived at the crashed airplane. We were searching for any survivors, but no luck. We saw the captain lay there in a pool of blood. That was all we found. But then Mike saw something that looked like a blood trace leading into a cave. With no warning, Mike was running into the cave. I was trying to keep up with him and stop him. And I heard a terrible noise. Mike was gone. Trouble! Alright, so this seems to be that blood trace. I need to follow it. Keep the sword all handy. Well, this can't be Mike's blood trace. Could it? I hope not. So this first part doesn't seem too bad. Nothing, nothing happening yet. Let's make sure I'm, yep, I'm in normal like usual. Read note three. Now I want you to not look at that. <laughs> Alright, note three. There are ten notes, by the way. Note three. December 22nd, 1942. 
Another day has passed. Desperately I have searched for Mike the whole night. I'm tired, I'm weak and hungry. No sign of Mike, only his old shed. But I won't stop searching for him. Yet I must continue. Stop typing E, we're not on that screen. <laughs> Please feed the dog. What dog? Well, look at that. Found a bonus. I do believe that was not here the first time. There's no dog, though. Not that I see. No pressure pads. Well, I wouldn't be in water now. Maybe he's on the top of the tree. Ow. Oh, there's the dog. You know, on the credits, it doesn't say you can't tame a dog. So, we tamed one anyway. It did say feed it. So I think this might be somewhere we need to go. Maybe for some extras. Just darn it. Note four. It seems to be a forester, December 22nd. Strange things are happening in these woods. I gotta get out of here quick. I know, not, not much different. But you know what, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's feast. So we can change this inventory around. So we're going to keep going this way. And there seems to be another checkpoint. So it's still not my time, so... And it's not cheating. It's using the resources given to us. So I'm hoping this checkpoint works. Because if I die, then it's going to be terrible. We're gonna laugh for one thing, but um, hey, cut it out. Read no five. I saw the light on the water. I didn't doubt to get down there. I was ready to take any risk to save Mike. It looks like an old mine. There goes a story that the mine is condemned and has sunken down under the water. I'm a little bit scared, but let's go. You know, I'm kind of impressed with this map. Not, and a lot of the ones that I find on the Yogscast forum page um, definitely sh seem to tend to be all just for Simon or Lewis because, you know, let's face it, when you're making a map and you see popular YouTubers like them and Sparkles and Ant Venom, you want them to definitely do your stuff, make you popular and maybe make you light. But... Um, well, you know, this guy right here, the you know, Rook and Put channel, really didn't advertise too much on that. It's pretty much an anybody can do this. Mine Dark Woods, no return. You know, this is meant for everybody, not just, we designed this for the Yogg's cast so they can do it. Yay. Not to down anyone that does it, but, you know, make it so it's more everyone friendly. I have your friend. You know where to go. Okay. So my dog continues to follow, which is good. This part of the mine is closed. And this part is open. How? Yes, the pot that I almost killed myself on is open. 
By the way, if you're wondering how I can hold on to the vines and such and the ladder easier than most is the shift trick. You just get up there and you shift. And you stay there, you can jump onto anything, or it definitely helps from fall damage. And good thing the dog actually automatically spawns next to you anyway, because that jump would probably kill it. Bones and redstone. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so last time I played this map, note six was a warning about. Yep. I found this ravine and looked around and I saw some blood in front of me and a way leading up to the surface. So I followed it. But in that moment, I got attacked by spiders. I haven't been attacked by spiders. I've heard them, but I haven't... Oh, poor Poochie. He'll follow. I haven't, um, seen any... Oh, God! My dog continues to press the button! I keep hitting my dog. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't need to hit you. How can I feed? Oh, I need to get bones. I think. Oh god, it's ready to mate. <laughs> anyway, so we survived the spider attack. And let me get some more food in me so I can heal. So that's the spider attack they were talking about. But again, I kind of think that maybe they should have waited to tell you that. Um, in my other video of this, you can tell, you know, this is what I told them. So. But they've said that version 2 is going to be better, so I can't wait. This is actually part 1 of this map, so. Alright, so this is where we're going to stop this video for now. See you next time for part two.